This video aims to expand our knowledge about the AX2000 cameras. This will be achieved by understanding why and how to switch between automatic and manual settings, as well as how to adjust manual settings for the shots we desire. To do so, this course will cover 8 important points. 1. Camera setup. 2. Setting the camera to auto. 3. Connecting an external mic. 4. Setting the camera to manual audio control. 5. Setting the camera to manual focus. 6. Setting the camera to manual iris. 7. Setting the ND filter. And 8. Setting the camera to manual white balance, gain, and shutter. This seems quite a lot to digest at once, right? So let's start step by step. To begin with, we will go over camera setup. The first thing we need to do is to install the battery. This goes on the back part of the camera. But remember, to charge your batteries or make sure that they are ready before installing them. We would not want our batteries to die halfway through. The next step is to turn the power on. The button is located on the right side of the camera. Now, open the viewfinder. This little screen is located on top of the camera, right here. After pressing the mode button, we will see the following symbols on the screen. Camera, play, edit, and manage media. This is like a homepage. We can move around using the location controls and the menu button to select. We can press the menu button for the camera option on the home page to set our camera on standard or high definition. After selecting camera option, a new screen will appear. We can scroll down and select the directional arrows. Then we select rec format to show how the camera is set. We can now press the right location control to show your resolution options and change them. For standard definition, use 480-60i, and for high definition, use 1080-60i effects. To select this, press exec button, and then when loading is completed, press exec button again. Once you're ready to start shooting, you will see the following screen where A is battery strength, B is HD setting, C is auto settings, D record setting, E, time code, F, remaining time on SD card, and G, audio level meters. However, before you start recording, make sure that you do the following. Check your ND filter. You would want to have it enough. Although, if you want to shoot outside, under a bright sunny day, you will want to have it in on. Set the focus to auto. Set gain, white balance, and shutter to auto too. The AX2000 offers the option to insert two SD cards, one in slot A and another one in slot B. Once one SD card is full, the AX2000 will automatically shift to the second SD card. Make sure to place the SD card with the contact points facing into the camera and to the left. Moreover, a secure digital card provides additional memory space for your digital camera. You should always format the card before you use it for the first time. And while you can format it on your PC, it's preferable that you format the card on your camera so that it is fully compatible with your camera's file type. While every camera may have slightly different instructions for formatting a card, they all follow the same general procedure. Once your camera is on and you have inserted the SD card, select the mode option, then go to manage media, select media format, Touch the memory card option to be formatted, select yes, then yes again, and finally ok. Once you format your SD card, all information will be deleted and cannot be recovered. For this reason, we suggest that you save a backup of your SD card on your computer beforehand. To make sure all these adjustments have been made, things flow smoothly, and everything is set up correctly, make a test recording and then play it back. To play back, first press the mode button. The following screen will appear on the LCD. Then select play option by pressing it sec. The following screen will appear on the LCD. You have two options, visual index and playlist. Use your finger and select visual index. You have the option to change videos to standard definition by clicking on the top HD option. Now select the clip you want to view and touch it twice. When making a shot, it is very important to keep the focus on what we want our readers to see. As a startup, we recommend setting all things to auto mode. We can set our focus to auto mode by setting the focus button on auto. 
This is located on the side of the camera, right here. Next to the auto manual focus button, we have the audio gain controls. We will find the auto mode button and we can just press it to set our audio gain in auto mode. We can also choose between the internal microphones or one of the two XLR inputs that this camera has. Moreover, we can set our gain, white balance, and shutter speed to auto mode by moving the auto mode switcher located right here. So far, it seems that we are ready to start shooting. But wait, what is a film, documentary, or TV show without a good audio? We should not forget about this. Fortunately, the AX2000 offers you the option to connect XLR input sources into the camera, as well as to use internal microphone. We can plug in up to two microphones right here, input 1 and input 2. We also need to make sure that our audio control is set at the input source mode. These controls are located right here. We can also adjust the input level by rolling the audio level controls located right here. These are two audio level controls, as you can see, and you will adjust the controls depending on which audio source you are using. Under the eyepiece, there is a toggle that allows you to control the way you monitor audio in the headphones. You can choose to listen in on only channel 1, only channel 2, or go with a mix of channel 1 and 2. This is a great feature if you are only recording to one channel and you don't want to hear that channel coming out of the one ear the whole time. It gives you ear fatigue. I've been there. To be even more in control of your audio, you can select the manual control audio mode by switching the manual auto button to manual mode. This is located right here. You can also adjust the audio levels by moving the audio dials, which are right next to the audio controls. You will see audio levels on the bottom right of the viewfinder. If you have both external inputs working, you will see little straps for channels 1 and 2. Although we recommend setting focus in auto mode at first, this can have some negative effects when doing our shootings because the camera will tend to focus on many objects. In such cases, maybe you would want to set your camera focus on manual mode. You can do this by selecting manual focus switch located right here. There are many reasons why you would like to adjust your camera focus to manual mode. The following recording conditions fall under this umbrella. For instance, to record animals behind a tree branch or limbs, to record horizontal stripes, to record a subject or animal with little contrast between the subject and its background, and when you want to focus on the subject in the background, manipulating depth of field. So, now pay close attention to these easy steps. There's no way you can go wrong if you follow them. 1. During recording condition or standby, set the focus switch to manual. 2. Rotate the focus ring and adjust the focus. A mountain symbol will appear when you cannot adjust the focus any farther. A person symbol will appear when you cannot adjust the focus any closer. Moreover, we recommend you to adjust the focus while using a tripod or a tree arm or some kind of camera support. Also, it is easier to focus on the subject when you use the critical focus. To do this, you will zoom in at the subject you want using a zoom control located on the right hand side of the camera, right here. When you want to record a close up image of an animal or a subject, move the power zoom lever towards W, which means wide angle, to fully magnify the image and then adjust the focus. We can also use the push auto button in the manual mode to have the camera auto focus and then keep the focus setting. This button is located right here. Sometimes we might encounter issues concerning image quality and brightness. We can correct this in two ways. One is by adjusting the iris, gain or shutter speed, or two, by reducing the light volume with the ND filter, which stands for neutral density. We can adjust the iris by pushing the iris button located here. To turn to manual iris, we can move the iris control located on what seems the neck of the camera right here. However, if you are still unsure about the brightness of your image, you can always ask for help and more easily use the zebra stripes. You can do this by using the zebra button on the camera. This will tell what is exposed to 75%. 
which is basically a good level for your main subject. The second option to adjust the brightness of our image is the ND filter, which is used to cut down the amount of light that is coming into the camera lens. So, if you want to shoot outside under a bright sunny day, you will probably want to have your ND filter on. You have the options to set the ND filter at levels either 1, 2 or 3. This depends on how bright the place where you are shooting is. You can adjust the quality of your image by adjusting the gain, white balance, and shutter speed. You can do this manually by first setting the manual auto button to manual mode. This is located right here. Just so you know, white balance adjusts the color of your picture. Press the white balance button to select manual white balance. Move the white balance switch to either A or B. Zoom into a white sheet of paper help where your subject is and press the button directly to the right of the white balance switch. Meanwhile, the gain increases the video signal for shooting in low light conditions. You can press the gain button and then select the gain using the switch for high, medium or low for the amount of gain needed. Finally, the shutter determines how fast a camera acquires images. To do this, we will have to press the shutter button to select manual shutter speed. For the best results for television, we ask you to keep this at 60. This has been all from my behalf. My name is Hector Bauti, and I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. And remember, if you have questions, just ask them. SPNN counts with a big staff, composed of very well-certified individuals, who will be more than happy to help you in any problem you have.